the Google Plus group, again, go to Google Plus and look for know-how. Mm -hmm. If you have a question, if you have a project, if you have something that you want built, that's the place to post it. And uh, if it strikes us, we'll put it in the show. We'll answer your questions. Yeah. We hey. might even show off your project. How about that? Considering we've been outdone a few times. A few times. Well, more than a few times. Mm. Uh, what, what do we got first, Brian? Uh, so this one f comes from James Hughes, and his question is, I had some issues printing with transparent filament in my DaVinci this weekend. It extruded fine, but the first layers didn't wor w want to stick to the bed. I was able to get it to stick using blue painter's tape. What can I use to get the first layers to stick? I don't want to use the slurry. Maybe Aquanet? This is a question that most 3D printers will have. Anytime mm -hmm. you're using a 3D printing device, getting those first layers to stick to the bed, but at the same time also being able to release when you're done printing right. has, has always been an issue. So what uh, you've recommended like glue sticks in the past? I have, I have glue sticks. Pads. I've used a little bit of slurry. I've you know printer's tape as well. But there is one solution that seems to work for absolutely everyone. Luckily, mm -hmm. I answered this question on the new screensavers not too long ago. Uh, and I thought, hey, you know what? Better than listening to me, why didn't you go ahead and listen to me? I'm Father Robert Ballas here, the digital Jesuit, here with a tip for all the makers. Now, if you've dabbled with 3D printing, you probably know about bacon. No, I'm not talking about the delicious meat candy. I mean the nasty tendency, especially for larger prints, to curl off of the surface. The reason why that happens is as the material leaves the extruder, it's very hot. As it touches the surface, it cools, and as it cools, it contracts and pulls itself if there's not enough adhesion to your printing surface. Now, there are a couple of ways to combat the bacon. The first is tape, regular old tape, painter's tape, scotch tape, something that's clean and yet has enough adhesive force, enough roughness to keep the print from curling up. Unfortunately, though a lot of these printers come with tape packs, I'm not the biggest fan of tape. It's wasteful and it just never really worked that well for me. What has worked is this, a glue stick. A glue stick that you might find inside of a grammar school classroom. That's right, it's, it's the old fashioned bit of adhesive that I can smear onto my glass surface. A thin layer of this means that your print is more likely to stick. Now as an added bonus, it means that when it comes time to remove your print from your printing surface, you can just soak this in water and after a few minutes, the glue will have softened enough for you to scrape it right off. Now, if you want to get super pro, you need to use hairspray. No, I'm, I'm not kidding, really, hairspray. Now, this is not the brand I normally like to use. I like to use Aquanet Super Hold. Nothing with scent, nothing with all that extra gunk that might jam up my print head, but enough to give you a nice clean coat onto your glass surface so that the bacon will forever be expelled. Now, if you want more of these tips, be sure to watch my show with Brian Burnett Know How every Thursday on the Twit TV network. You know, when he taped it, we were only on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, that I was guy gonna, was wrong. Don't thank listen goodness to that guy. we're watching this show now, <laughs> otherwise we might be confused. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, Aquanet is probably because I, I tried other hairsprays and they kind of work. Uh -huh. There's something about the formulation of Aquanet that is that perfect combination. Right. Of stickiness, but also can release. <laughs> uh, I tried it. I tried it with uh, like Salon Selective or something. Right. And it stuck really well. The problem is I couldn't get it to release. Oh yeah, that's like I had to boil the thing for it to come off. That's you don't want to do that. No, that sounds like a hassle. But then, how did it? Did it work well for your hair? Oh, I mean, uh, duh. duh. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the other thing. Uh, Aquanet actually doesn't really work on your hair. So. Oh. Okay. And also, it's. <laughs> If you ever find like a drugstore out in the middle of nowhere that has Aquanet, buy as many bottles as they have. It it's hard to get. If you order it online, it's actually kind of expensive. It's like thirty dollars a bottle. Jeez, so, yeah, that's so. more than like filament. I know exactly. It's like, and it should be four dollars a bottle.